Hello everyone, today we're going to be integrating Remita payments into our React application. Now, as you can see here, with the help of ChatGPT, I was able to check out the benefits of using Remita payments with React. Now, Remita is a popular payment gateway in Nigeria that provides an easy and secure way for individuals and businesses to make and receive payments. It has multiple benefits, including easy integration, secure payments, multiple payment options, fast and reliable, streamlined payment processes, increased revenue. So we're going to be looking about how we can set that up with our React application. Now, first of all, I want us to go to the Remita website and I want you to create an account for yourself. Now, once you've done creating an account, I want you to come over to React NPM React Remita. So this is the React Remita package and we can just copy this here go to our terminal and install that i've already installed that so what you do is that you paste this in your terminal and you install it so once you're done installing your react remeter i want you to go back to your remeter account go to your dashboard you see your dashboard like this then go over to administration and API keys and webhooks. Now you can see here you are provided with your public key and your secret key. Um, you're currently in test mode. To go live, you need to provide more information about yourself and about your business because Remita has to um, make sure that it knows much more about its um, users that are developers that are using its um, React Remita package. Now, once you're done that, done with that. Let's come back to our React Remeter and see how we can integrate it into our React application. Now, first thing you're going to import Remeter payment from React Remeter, like I've done here. Then you're also going to copy this constant here. Copy this. As you can see, I've done that here. Then we're going to copy this but this remitter payment it's a button so you're going to copy this and as you, as you can see i already have it here remitter payments so once you're done with that you can go to your react application you can see the pay with remitter button here let's click on it so it's showing us incomplete configuration please add public key to your config script now when we go to our remitter dashboard now administration and api keys we can see our public key is given to us here we're going to copy that we're going to come to our setup here so this is our key so we're going to come here i'm going to paste this now the customer id we're going to leave that no first name we're going to we provided our user data here constant email phone number and name so, we want the first name to be name. Last name, let's leave that empty. Email. Email. The amount, let's put 100. 100 naira. Okay. So, narration, live scores. Okay. Let's check our React application. Let's refresh. Pay with Remita. Okay, you can see here first name has been provided, email address has been provided, provided the amount has also been provided. We're going to say next. Okay, saying we should fill in the last name. Let's say in the jar coder and say next. Okay, so now a small model has been provided to us. We can use our card, we can use bank transfer ussd in era and so many other options but we're going to use card now um you'll be wondering what kind of card can we use with this all we can do we can come to the remitter main website here go to the developers option every issue you may have with the remitter payment is provided here funds transfer so many um help for developers is provided here so we're going to go to accept payments we're going to go to test payments 
now these are all test cards you can use to test out your um remitter your remitter portal when it is in test mode so we're going to copy this we're going to come to our after application card number expiry date CCV and pay and uh, one time password that's the OTP copy I'm going to paste it here so you see the amount has been paid and the port, uh, portal closes now we want to also um, have different checks to see whether our, our transaction was successful with the cost with the user. So when we come to our console, see callback successful response. All right, so we can see we're getting a response back. Um, amounts, message, payment reference, transaction ID. In case you want to save all this. Now, if we come back here, we can see in this place here, we have on success. Now, if the transaction was successful, you want something to, if you want something to occur here, maybe you want to save the response or you want to create an alert telling the user, giving the user feedback like, thank you for your payment. You can do that in here. So, we're going to create an alert. Yeah, we're going to say, thank you for paying. Then over here is if we have an error with the transaction, maybe the transaction did not go through, maybe his bank was not available, or maybe he, the transfer did not go through for any reason, we have the on error function. Now you can do anything you want inside here. Maybe you want to log that error in your database so that in case the user was debited or something like that, you can easily reference what happened on that day. Then you have the on close. That's if the user um, closes the portal by himself so we put an alert here we say user closed it there's not spend enough close okay so let's open the portal again let's close it okay, let's open it again let's put the last name All right, so we're going to close the portal now. And you can see we're getting user closed it. So this is what you can use to, you know, in case you want to save anything on success or show anything on error and also display anything on close. These are the functions you can use. So you can see Remitter is very, very easy to integrate to your React application. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be using it. So that's all for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll also be doing other videos on different uh, payment methods you can be using in your React application. Thank you.